Please be seated. Thank you to the Sierra Vista Community Band and the Tombstone High School JROTC Color Guard for providing a wonderful beginning to this event. On behalf of Cochise College, we welcome you to this, the 57th Annual Commencement Ceremony. After two years of altered commencements, what a great sight it is to see all of you and what a beautiful setting we have for this event. We are delighted that you've come to participate in this celebration that represents the culmination of this year's academic activities. It is my pleasure to introduce our platform guests who will stand as their name is read, and I ask you to please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Members of the Cochise College Governing Board, Mr. David DePeso, Chair, Mr. Dennis Nelson, Secretary, Mr. Don Hudgens, Mrs. Jane Strain, and Mr. Tim Quinn. Dr. Verlin Fick, Executive Vice President and Provost. Dr. Wendy Davis, Vice President of Administration. Dr. Dana Horn, Executive Dean of Student Services. Dr. Rod Flanagan, Dean of Business and Technology. Miss Beth Hill, Dean of Nursing and Allied Health. Ms. Angela Garcia, Dean of Liberal Arts. Ms. Barbara Richardson, Dean of Outreach. Dr. Thomas Getzloff, Dean of Mathematics and Science. Dr. Eric Brooks, Executive Director of the First Responders Academy. Mr. A. Villarreal, Dean of the Douglas Campus. Dr. Carlos Quijarda and Ms. Denise Cognes of the Faculty. Ms. Adriana Raber, President of the Student Government Association. Also joining us this evening in the audience is Dr. Jennifer Wants, Executive Director of Community Engagement. And joining us in the VIP section, representing the Mexican Consulate, Ivana Hernandez and Alexis Moreno. From the Cochise County Government, the Honorable Sheriff Mark Daniels, and County Superintendent of Schools, Miss Jackie Clay. Representing the City of Sierra Vista, Mayor Pro Tem, Rachel Gray, and Councilwoman Angelica Landry. Also representing Fort Huachuca this evening, Mr. Matt Walsh. Please join me in welcoming them to this event. At Cochise College, we are grateful to have an active all-volunteer foundation board that accepts generous gifts from community members directs fundraising activities to assist the college, and provides considerable scholarship assistance to our students, including many of our graduates here tonight. Please join me in giving an applause to the Cochise College Foundation for all that they do. So graduates, colleagues, family and friends, we find ourselves after two years, once again, at a commencement ceremony the 57th to be specific. Why do we have ceremonies like this? They are at times a bump on an otherwise flat horizon. Academic ceremonies start and stop things, and this ceremony brings to an end the academic year. It is by consensual vote of the faculty, administration, staff, and students that what we are about is worth some fuss. It's something special, out of the ordinary, not something you see every day. This sacred ceremony recognizes that what we've accomplished is worth celebrating. For these graduates, tonight's events are not an end to a journey, but a new beginning. Commencement is a point of departure for the next phase of their life. This class, like the 56 before it, will go off and commence in their next adventure an adventure that each of you, our graduates, gets to direct as you take on a new career or head off to a university. Commencement allows us to simultaneously embrace our past while we celebrate your future. As outlined in the commencement program, the dressing in caps and gowns with all the pomp and circumstances embraces our academic traditions and the history from which we have come. 
yet, as you walk across the stage tonight, we'll celebrate your departure as a Cochise College graduate. Also dressed with you in academic regalia and seated is the faculty of Cochise College. When you receive your degree tonight, it will be upon recommendation of the faculty of Cochise College. They have, they have observed your work, measured your talent, and deemed you worthy of a degree. Allow me to explain to you what this means. Our goal has not been to require you to jump through a prescribed number of hoops or check off enough boxes, nor has our goal been to have you memorize a certain number of facts or complete a defined amount of equations. Instead, our goal has been, been to give you the tools to continue to learn and grow in the critical areas of social responsibility, community engagement, meaningful careers, and lifelong learning. Tonight, your professors, instructors, and administrators are proudly affirming that you possess the inherent qualities of an educated person worthy of a degree. Let's now recognize the faculty of Cochise College. Would the faculty please rise? Ladies and gentlemen, the faculty of Cochise College. Tonight, the processional was led by two alumni marshals, Dr. Bo Hall and Ms. Carmen Moreno Maldonado. They, like each of you, learned, grew, and developed themselves while at Cochise College. They went from here and in their own way impacted the future well-being for many. Allow me to share a small part of their stories. James Bohall, class of 1971, graduated from Bowie High School and was a walk-on to the Cochise College baseball team in 1969. Bull has stated, quote, I arrived on campus as an underprepared college student. Because of the caring faculty and staff at Cochise College and hard work, I earned my associate's degree, then a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and later a doctorate in education. Cochise set me on an educational path to a lifetime of success, close quote. After his college and professional baseball career ended, he put his education to work when he joined the Cochise College staff in 1983. Bo's Cochise College career began with coaching baseball, and he later transitioned to athletic director, a role that allowed him to spread the philosophy that while there are limits in professional sports, participants should have an education that will open other doors for the rest of their lives. Under Bo's leadership, student athletes in baseball, men's and women's basketball, women's soccer, and rodeo, have, a, have a strived to meet the high academic standards of Cochise College athletics, and Cochise College has had numerous academic All-Americans. Baseball teams throughout Bo's tenure made it to the postseason and, and earned two bursts in the National Junior College Athletic Association World Series, finishing eighth and third in the nation. Bo later became dean, then executive dean of student services, a leadership role that allowed him to have an impact on the entire student body. Regardless of his position at the college, Coach Hall, as he's affectionately referred, has impacted literally thousands of lives of students and colleagues. Since retirement in 2021, he's continued to serve the institution by providing specialized assistance related to his prior role as dean and mentoring his successor in athletics. In recognition of his over 38 years of service to Cochise College and to recognize where it all began for Bo, the college named the baseball field in his honor. Congratulations, Bo. Once each year, community college students from across the state are nominated to the all Arizona academic teams, honored at a public ceremony and awarded waivers to finish their bachelor's degrees at one of the state's public universities. 2012, Cochise College graduate Car Carmen Moreno Maldonado was selected to be the keynote speaker at this year's ceremony. Her story of resilience, overcoming a broken family, poverty, food insecurity, and more inspires other students 
and those of us who work to help them attain an education. For Carmen, education was a constant, one thing she could depend upon among the upheavals of her youth. And so she began to work hard. She became good at going to school, and she was always a personal priority. She made a conscientious decision to experience success, and this mentality set a tone for the rest of her life. During her time as a student at Coach on the Douglas campus, Carmen was a work study in the Cochise College Foundation office. Her all Arizona recognition took her to the University of Arizona. She earned a bachelor's degree and then a master's degree and now works with students seeking financial aid and scholarships. Although her academic goal of psychology has not precisely aligned with her career, there is nothing she would rather do than help other people. Congratulations, Carmen, on your outstanding success. Like Bo and Carmen, each of these graduates has a story to tell and a story yet to be told, for it has not yet been written. First, the stories that they can tell. Tonight, we will award 1,377 associate's degrees, a remarkable number considering all that we've been through the last couple years. Each of these degrees was earned by a graduate who had to overcome not only a pandemic, but the natural anxiety of going to college. Some may have believed that a college degree was impossible. Others sat in the parking lot trying to work up the courage to come in the door for the first time. Some may have come to the college several times before returning to complete their degree. Others may have laughed off their fears about going to college or faced those fears with friends. Some came alone courageously, many the first in their family to attend college. Some students came from towns as small as some of our largest classes, others came from large urban areas. Going to college takes courage and determination. Tonight, when you see our graduates walking across the stage, remember that it took courage for them to come here and hard work and determination for them to complete the requirements for graduation. These are but a few of the stories they can tell. The strength of Cochise College lies in our mission statement. We provide inclusive and accessible educational opportunities to a very diverse population. We not only have ethnic diversity, but age and academic preparedness diversity as well. Some of tonight's graduates began their studies as high school students, enrolled in dual or, con or reverse credit programs, our youngest graduate this, graduate this evening is 18. Others started their college studies well into their sunset years, perhaps even during retirement. Our oldest graduate is 63. Most of tonight's graduates are from close by, from cities and towns in Cochise County, across Arizona and the Southwest. However, some of our graduates come from as far away as Montenegro. This year, we have graduates from 46 of the 50 states, as well as the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. Many of our graduates came to us straight out of high school with a high school diploma, yet some earned a GED, maybe through Cochise College's adult education program. Some of our graduates came here with limited proficiency in English and had to learn English as a second language. Some of our graduates came to us after having already earned a college degree, interested in pursuing competency in a new field of study. In fact, some of our graduates have already earned bachelor's and graduate degrees. Some of our students finished their education in as little as three semesters. Some have taken 20 years or more. Many of our graduates are active duty servicemen and women stationed around the world, including Italy, Germany, Belgium, the United Kingdom, Jordan, Korea, and Japan. Although they may not be able to participate with us tonight, we celebrate their accomplishments and provide web streaming of this ceremony for their participation wherever they may be or at a latter date. Some of our graduates tonight are wearing red, white, and blue honor cords, signifying their status as a veteran of the United States Armed Services. Please join me in thanking these graduates and all of our servicemen and women for their service to this great country.
stories of our graduates' journeys are unique. I visited with students who spoke about overcoming significant challenges to achieve their degrees. Some spoke of inspiring educators and mentors who guided them. Many praised the support of family and friends. Others told of finding new strengths in themselves. Their stories make us laugh. They make us cry. Most of all, they make us proud proud of the student, determined students who we will soon recognize. Now for the stories yet to be told. To the friends and family in the audience this evening, you are looking at a cohort of individuals who are our future. Compared to their peers with a high school diploma or less, the graduates sitting before you tonight are more likely to vote, will see their lifetime earnings more than double, and will engage in civic activity at a higher rate. They're less likely to be unemployed, more likely to have stable family lives, and will have an opportunity to enjoy a higher standard of living. Anyone who doubts the future of our community, our state, or our nation need only look at this event to be reassured that the future is very bright. These graduates, like their predecessors, represent the greatness of Cochise College. We are proud of you and we are proud of your accomplishments. However, graduates, please remember and recognize you did not get here on your own. An unwavering faculty and staff that were committed to putting students first have served you on your learning journey. Our county residents have committed their own personal resources to construct, maintain, and operate one of the most beautiful and advanced colleges in the entire state to ensure your success. Most of all, your family and friends have supported you financially and emotionally throughout your academic career. Collectively, we've invested in your education, and now we ask you to go forth and do something great. Change the world. Do the impossible. Impossible? What is impossible? Nothing is impossible. We hope as you commence from here as a Cochise College graduate that you have a new understanding that the impossible is within your reach. What you thought might be impossible, a chance at college, a passing grade in math, a college degree is now possible. In fact, it is inevitable. Any dream, any idea, any project at first seems impossible, but with time, dedication, commitment, and effort, it becomes possible. That is what we have tried to instill in you while you are at Cochise College. Graduates, thank you for choosing Cochise College and becoming part of the past we embrace and the future we celebrate. You entered as our students and you leave as our colleagues. Go forth, commence in making the impossible possible. Faculty, staff, family and friends, please join me in congratulating the class of 2022. The highest honor that Cochise College can bestow is that of Emeritus. Emeritus is an honorary title given upon retirement for meritorious service. The Faculty Emeritus title is conferred upon a highly select group of our most outstanding faculty upon the recommendation of the faculty, the provost, the president, and approval of the governing board. To date, Cochise College has bestowed the title as Emeritus on 38 very distinguished individuals. Tonight, the college would like to recognize, before this graduating class, three additional Faculty Emeriti who will be bestowed Faculty Emeritus status at a convocation ceremony in August. Would faculty emeriti, Ms. Tanya Biami, Mr. Dan Gilmet, and Dr. Bo Hall please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Dr. Verlin Fick, Executive Vice President and Provost will introduce this year's student speaker. This year's student speaker is Mr. Gabriel Lewis.
he is receiving his Associate of Applied Science degree in welding technology. Gabe has also earned certificates in welding technology and has a 4.0 GPA. He is active in the Phi Theta Kappa Alpha Mu Zeta chapter and the president of Skills USA Welding Club. He is also active at his church as a Village Meadows Baptist Church worship member. Gabe just recently competed and won the state welding competition. Next year, he will be attending Weber State University in Utah, majoring in welding engineering. Please welcome Mr. Gabriel Lewis. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Can you believe we're really here? Feels pretty good, doesn't it? When you think about it, we're a special group of graduates. We survived a pandemic. We survived a semester of online learning, even for classes that had never been online before. And we are here tonight celebrating the first in-person graduation since the beginning of the pandemic. My name is Gabriel Lewis, and I know it is cliche to say this, but I'm honored to stand before you all here today. I truly am. Members of the administration tell me that I'm the first welding student to be asked to speak at a Cochise commencement. And I would like to personally thank all the faculty, peers, and family that encouraged me to keep pushing and even to agree to speak to you all today. I am greatly honored. I would like to begin my talk a little differently than most. I'm inviting you to pause for a few moments, take in your surroundings, and savor this wonderful moment. I can only begin to imagine what might have gone through your minds. Joy, peace, pure relief, maybe for some of you, all those things at once. I wonder if any of you considered the heartache you experienced over the years because of the things you had to sacrifice to be here today. Lost time away from friends or family, your kids, your spouse, or maybe even your parents. And let's not overlook all those missed opportunities to just enjoy life. But we gave all those things up for a reason, to invest in our futures. And that investment is paying its first dividend by bringing us here tonight. I started my journey here at Cochise College participating in the summer campus program throughout my middle school years. But it was during my junior year of high school that I was inspired by Cochise College instructor Randy Fox to pursue an associate's degree in welding technology. And even though there were times when I wanted to quit and to back out, a small voice within me told me to keep going. And now, here I am, in front of some of the most courageous and determined people I have ever known. While we all have a goal in mind beyond tonight, I challenge you not to be afraid of change. I'm sure you all know that life throws curveballs at us that can completely throw us off course. But not all change is bad. Don't close yourself off or allow yourself to feel trapped by what you are currently doing. You see, I had convinced myself that all I wanted was to be an aerospace welder for Boeing, and I had completely closed off the idea of furthering my education. But now, after being enlightened by one of my instructors here at Cochise, thank you, Graham Everly, I've decided to transfer to a four-year university and pursue a degree in engineering. So take the time to listen to others and listen to that quiet voice within you. Be open to new ideas, new surroundings, and new people. You never know where it might take you. This day, however, is about you, your drive, your grit, and your determination. There may have been moments when you wanted to quit too, no one would have blamed you, but you didn't. You are an inspiration to us all, and I want to thank you for what you have done for me, for yourselves, and for our community. You're here on this beautiful green lawn, surrounded by family, friends, instructors, administrators, and others who are just like you. Sure, we don't all come from the same background and may not have had the same experiences in life, but we all have a common goal. And that goal is to make the world a better place. To go out into the world 
and do amazing things. Whether that be at a four-year university or on a job site, wherever life may take you, Cochise College has taught us to make a difference in our world. So go. Go out and create change. Change the standard. Change the stigma attached to you or your job title. Change the lives of the people around you. Go out and change the world for the better. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Gabe. And now we would like to recognize those individuals for whom this ceremony is intended. These are the students of Cochise College who have fulfilled their associate degree requirements. Graduates, as you are escorted by the marshal, please form a line on the sidewalk. We've provided a photography section to the left of the platform for family and friends. We ask that you utilize this space for, photogra for photographs and then quickly return to your seats to avoid obstructing the view of others. The Executive Vice President and Provost will present the Class of 2022, and the Governing Board Chair will confer the degrees. Dr. Fick and Mr. DePeso, would you please join me? Dr. Rottweiler, upon recommendation of the faculty, I am very pleased as Executive Vice President and Provost present the members of the class of 2022 who have applied for candidacy for the appropriate associate degree. Mr. Chair, the members of the class of 2022 whose names appear in the printed program have applied for candidacy for their respective degrees at Cochise College, and I'm pleased to recommend them to you for the conferring of the appropriate associate's degree. Will the candidates for the Associate of Arts degree please rise? As chair of the governing board of Cochise College and with the powers vested to that board by the state of Arizona, to each candidate having completed all academic requirements, I hereby confer the Associate of Arts degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. The candidates may now transfer the tassel in recognition of having earned the Associate of Arts degree. Marshals, please escort the candidates to the podium. Edward Roland Dench. Kiana Rain Thibault. Kiera Desiree Wright.
Francisco Lugo. Ariana Luna. Giovanni Girvan Sanchez. Juliana, Juviana Padilla. Francisco Daniel Ibarra. Erica Amsdell. Leah Ansdell. Maria Delia Quintero. Nicholas Andrew Redmond. Corina Suarez Tudela. Juan Arturo Ramirez. Jaden Ann Quiles. Tania Paola Salinas. Beatrice Lee Smith. Taya Lauren Sherman Harris. Julia Allen Sanders. Alexis Miranda. Juliana Joy House. Deontay Marquez Brooks. Jose Ernesto Marquez Cruz. Jimmy Edward Luján. Juan Carlos Avechuco. Wesley Carlson Stahl. Selma Marilyn Miranda. Montserrat Cham. Jimena Aceret La Madrid. Venecia Galindo. Catherine Oton 
Toscano. Enrique Unzueta Jr. Belinda Carrillo. Marco Antonio Buelna. Kevin Grijalva González. Jessica Pérez Ríos. Paola de Jesús Villalobos. Paulina Coronado. Lauren Aileen Fullen. Amber Marie Scott. Lindsay Marie Baxter. Micaela Irán Parra. Elizabeth Michelle Wilsonhelm. Darian Marie Simons. Alan Ivan Flores. Ethan Fleming. Kaylin Ocarisa Barlolong. Deyanira Lifia Victor. Jessica Alba. Dallas Mason. Cassandra Danielle Rivera. Nicole Louise Beck. This is my son, Carlos René Quijada. Miley Nicole Vasquez. Lluvia Victoria Ramirez. René Adair Villanueva. Cassandra Urquijo Madrigal. Connor Caden Childress. Okay. 
Jevgeny Korlyakov. Silali Wang. Flynn Brame. Anaraini Guadalupe Valdez Cuvera. Elisea Escalante. Curtis Oliver Ross. Andrew Curtis Anderson. Claudia Elizabeth Sison. Martha Gore. Will the candidates for the Associate of Arts Elementary Education degree please rise? As chair of the governing board of Cochise College and with the powers vested to that board by the state of Arizona, to each candidate having completed all academic requirements, I hereby confer the Associate of Arts degree on elementary education with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Candidates may now transfer the tassel in recognition of having earned the Associate of Arts elementary education degree. Marshals, please escort the candidates to the platform. Collard Abigail Arvisu. Ashley Alia Saldana. Tiffany Rivera. Marlene Yvette Padilla. Virginia Drew 
Worthington. Adriana Coronel. Abby Shepherd. Angela Cebreros. Will the candidates for the Associate of Science degree please rise? Okay. Will the candidates for the Associate of Science degree please rise? As chair of the governing board of Cochise College and with the powers vested to that board by the state of Arizona, to each candidate having completed all academic requirements, I hereby confer the Associate of Science degree with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. The candidates may now transfer the tassel in recognition of having earned the Associate of Science degree. Marshals, please escort the candidates to the platform. Jerry Dwayne Wallace. Victor Enrique Oviedo. Francisco Javier Martán. Kevin Ulises Chavez Anthony Avalos Meadow Grace Mikret. Livia Marie Gertler. Will the candidates for the Associate of Business degree please rise? As chair of the governing board of Cochise College and with the powers vested to the board by the state of Arizona, to each candidate having completed all academic requirements, I hereby confer the Associate of Business degree 
with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. The candidates may now transfer the tassel in recognition of having earned the Associate of Business degree. Marshals, please escort the candidates to the platform. Paola René Padilla. Flor Diana Peña. David Alan Martinez. Rebecca Klaus Walker. Matthew Angel Jusino. Gerardo Daniel Abril. Diana Maria Figueroa. Oscar Alamia. Will the candidates for the Associate of General Studies degree please rise? As chair of the governing board of Cochise College and with the powers vested to that board by the state of Arizona, to each candidate having completed all academic requirements, I hereby confer the Associate of General Studies degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. The candidates may now transfer the tassel in recognition of having earned the Associate of General Studies degree. Marshals, please escort the candidates to the platform.
Adriana Alexandra Raber. Sophia Rose Stevens. Alisa Choi. Carissa Oaks. Eric Oton Toscano. Elmira Quadina Kidd. Alexa Morales Castellum. Zoe Cuevas. Dante Francisco Palau. Yolanda Yvette Soto. Victoria Alexandra Lucero. Jocelyn Arlet Monge. Catherine Elizabeth Polakowski. Alexa Staples. Amber Nicole Gardner. Mary Heather Gardner. Chloe McKenna Martin. Marilyn Valenzuela. Joseph Renegar. Cody John Sherrell. Matthew Sloan Smith Jr. Jose Zavaleta Ortiz. Diana Romo. Mildred Catherine Long. Leslie Deli Mercado. Matthew Gridley. Jonathan Eduardo Garcia. Giovanni Featherston. <laughs> Jordan Clark. Ana Lucrecia Smith.
Kaylin Megan Edwards. Candace Hassel. Yarandra Anaís Echevarria. Alondra Victoria Toscano Álvarez. Yvette Padilla. Heather Marie James. Emilio Fernando Marmolejo. Megan Renee Murphy. Lindsay Benson. April Marie Thompson. Chiari Hiroko Kea. Kimberly Marai Orona. Will the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree please rise? As chair of the governing board of Cochise College and with the powers vested to that board by the state of Arizona, to each candidate having completed all academic requirements, I hereby confer the Associate of applied science degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto. The candidates may now tra transfer the tassel in recognition of having earned the Associate of Applied Science degree. <laughs> Marshals, Please escort the candidates to the platform.
Itavia Diane Pounds. Christian Kyla Fox. Andrea Treviño. Lisa Redenbow. Maria Luisa Borges Granillo. Daniel Ryan McEntee. Diana Adamari Pacheco. Hunter Blake Shashinagua. Cameron David Emery. Maria Guadalupe Martinez Estrada. Adrian Anthony Martinez. David Traín. Julia Mayani. Tamika Rochelle Willis. Christina Brooke Shepherd. Lynette Janelle Cobb. Gabriel Hampton Lewis. Rachel Allen Talley. Leandra Teresa Hickey. Chantel Hassel. Joniqua Rochelle Hanau. Alma Estefania Chavez. Alexis Rene Valdez. Yesenia Orozco. Shana Renee Gebhardt. Loreto Jesus Mata Acosta. Rhiannon Seraphine Bays. Jordan Taylor Smith. Maricel Eva Subia. A 
Rachel Torres. Grace Pasasedava Quillington. Eileen Mirabueno Johnson. Monica Vila Rodriguez. Fernando Bocanegra. Amber Danielle Urquijo. Hazel Milagros Monje. Kerry Justin Hewitt. Priscilla Bloom. Iris Krakovich. Tisha Tyshone Wheeler. Devery Page Meserve. Amy Co. Laura Gaskell Phillips. Crystal Silva. April Ann Pedigo. Brianna Lynn Ponce. Angelica Melendres. Casey Ratliff. <laughs> Gloria Lorena Johnson. Irmalina Lopez. Kaylee Mosier. Marta Elizabeth Hernandez. Ivan Martin. Shandy Lee Harrison. Stephanie Wilkins. Sophia Carol Kirkland. Crystal Vargas. Jasmine Alea Denise Richardson. Judith Amber Dyer. Hope Leanne Jameson.
Karen García. Cintia Rubacalva. Savannah Carol Inglis. Cheyenne Ray Mesh. Morgan Dion Tamez. Johnny Lee Wegrich. Danielle Sophie Harris. Trevor Carnes Lopez. Joe Takunda Sananga. Samuel Clausen Lewis. Marcus Antoine Carter. Gabrielle Mariah Ote. Lacey Lavanda King. Serena Elena Hernandez. Ambria Cagle. Gabriela Zubiati. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2022.
This concludes our 57th commencement exercise. We thank you for sharing this occasion with us. I want to acknowledge and thank the commencement committee, the college's facilities and maintenance staff, technology services and library staff who worked throughout the year to make tonight special for our graduates and their families. As a reminder, traffic flows in one way direction to facilitate a safe and efficient exit from campus. Please drive carefully and follow the directions of the security staff. Now please stand and remain at your seat as the recessional goes by. Thank you and good evening. Thank you.